Good morning from Banff, Alberta. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a video this week on Banff, Alberta. I don't know, it might not be a, a lot about scrapper cars, but you have to admit, some beautiful. This is from the balcony of our hotel room. And, uh, well, I bet you there's scrap in there. And probably in that one as well. And probably down the road. You never know. Look at that. There's a telehandler. Telehandler and bam. Now you guys have seen it all. Oh. What is this? That looks like some construction sticks or something. Bet you they're metal. Anyways, it's not going to be the, this lame the entire video. We're going to go discovering together. But I thought might as well start off lame because then you'd be you would know it's a nice junk video. This would be the Banff Canoe Club. <coughs> And you can do ca canoe and kayak rentals. Wow. I don't know if I'd want to be renting a canoe at this time of year. But isn't it pretty? Look at that. Beautiful. This would be awesome in the summer. So we need to find a grocery store. The coffee in the hotel really sucks. And this is the hotel we're staying at on the right hand side. Banff Park Lodge Resort Hotel. It's under construction, we're in one of the renovated rooms, so that's a bonus. I don't know if you call this downtown. It's a quaint little city. Sorry about the crack in the windshield. I'm from Alberta. We don't have a law against that. The White Museum of the Canadian Rockies. I doubt that's open. Most things are closed this time of year. I would imagine, oh, there's a Christmas tree in there. Maybe we can take a look. There's a big bathroom. Striking Canadian postal workers. <laughs> Gotta support the, the striking Canadian postal workers. They're hard done by. Probably only making 40 bucks an hour. I don't know. I'm just talking over the top of my head. Got a pretty building. I have no idea what that is. I used to come to Banff quite a bit back in the day, but it's been quite a while since I've been here. We used to, I used to work for a company called Homes by Avi as a superintendent for them. They used to have the company Christmas party here in Banff at the Banff Springs Hotel. It was just gorgeous. And they didn't even consider that our bonus. That was just a little get together, build company morale, which was awesome. As you can see, there's lots of trees, snow, a lot of rock. That's pretty well what you see in Banff. Trees and rock. A lot of tourists, too. I'm a tourist. Try not to act like one. But I guess I am because I'm taking video footage of this craziness. I made sure we brought a 4x4 because you never know what the 
weather's like in Banff. It can change like drastically. You could have like summer in the middle of the winter and then all of a sudden you know, it rain and then you know five minutes later it'll start snowing and then 20 minutes later you're back to summer. It's so it's nice to have the four wheel drive because the roads can get pretty crappy. As you can see. But it's very, very pretty. If you notice, like, the ditch on the uh, left there, I'll go straight down, eh? There's no guardrails, nothing. Like, you gotta be on your game here. You can't be doing any distracted driving, like, videotaping and driving. Anything crazy like that. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll teach you how to respect the roads real quick like. So, I'll bring you back once there's something more interesting than trees. On the rocks. This video really doesn't show the magnitude of the beauty of this place. Now we're heading to the cave and basin. I don't know. Sounds like a disco bar to me. The cave and basin. Big cave and basin. But I don't know. It's the birthplace of Canada's national parks. There's no camp in here. Nay, nay. I might have to look into more of this birthplace. Hope there's no icky photos of birthing. I have a pass to get in here. And uh, I'm just not going to pay big money to go to an overly expensive gift shop. So, Cave and Basin, here you go. Isn't that awesome? That's just fantastic. Picnic tables. I'm glad we came up here. We got some awesome picnic tables. And then they've got this barricaded off. I don't know. None of this makes sense to me. Not allowed to enter. Leave it to the government to confuse everything. Maybe we can find a different spot to turn in so we can see other picnic tables. Their snow removal budget must be out of this world. It's not even really snowing yet. They got the plows out and the sweepers and the two dads and this is the view from the front door of the hotel and as you can see there's a lot of touristy kind of stuff I'm just gonna go take a walk downtown gas is a dollar fifty nine nine here and uh, just outside of Bam, we stopped at this place about 30 kilometers out. It was a dollar forty point nine. So make sure you download the Gas Buddy app and uh, check.
Check out gas prices if you're going to come here. And so there's a liquor depot. Last Temptation Thrift Store. I saw a lot. All kinds of cool stuff. Poutine. <laughs> Not crazy expensive. Well, maybe. Ask the water. Water looks frozen. Lots of places to get wasted. Beer, liquor stores. You can even get hurt eight days a week. I can tell you, it's mighty cold. Oh yes. So around these corners, we're going to get to the Banff Springs Hotel. And I'll probably... Today I decide I'm going to do all the outside stuff. And then tomorrow we're going to come back to the Banff Springs and uh, do a little tour inside of there. Just that the wind weather is supposed to dip a little bit. Uh, I'll try and get all the outside stuff done today so that I'm not freezing. If that makes any sense. So this is the iconic Dan Springs Hotel to my right. And I'll tell you, I've stayed here many a time. This is where you used to have the Christmas parties. And it's like amazing. Totally amazing. And like I say, tomorrow we're gonna go inside and I'll show you what that hotel looks like. Here we are at the Banff Springs. Beautiful old castle. And in here there's many, many shops. So we'll just do a walking tour of its mall. Many of the places are now restricted.
a hotel for this hotel room for December can range from six to twenty four hundred dollars a night. Comes out to this beautiful terrace with the breathtaking views. Surrounded by mountains. This hotel was built by Canadian Pacific Railroad. That is pretty cool. Not exactly sure what that rock's all about, but it is really, really cool. This guy here, he's worth 11000 This one here is at $31,800. The skier is at $2,350. Focus. That is with the table. The table and this guy 
is Very good yourself. Yeah. Nineteen twenty seven. Some nice jump.